people are going back to my past. Okay, that's exactly what they're doing. They're going back to the past and they're trying to add all of this stuff now. R. Kelly is an American singer, songwriter, and record producer. Kelly's been credited with helping to redefine R&B and hip hop, earning nicknames such as the King of R&B, the King of Pop Soul, and the Pied Piper of R&B. Kelly has sold over 75 million records worldwide, making him the most successful R&B male artist of the 1990s and one of the world's best-selling music artists. He's the 55th best-selling music artist in the United States with over 32 million album sales. Kelly was named by Billboard as the top R&B slash hip-hop artist between 1985 and 2010 and the most successful R&B artist in history. With all I've been through in my way, way past, to hold somebody, let alone four, five, six, fifty, you said. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is Robert Sylvester Kelly, who's also known as the Pied Piper. He was born January 8th, 1967 in Chicago, making him age 54 at the time of this production. He stands at six feet one inches tall or 185 centimeters. In 1998, Kelly launched his own label, the Interscope Records distributed Rockland Records. Kelly has contributed to various U.S. and international charities through donations and the proceeds of special performances. In 1995, Kelly donated 20,000 pounds to a U.K. charity, accepted by representative and former footballer Garth Crooks. In 2003, Kelly donated $50,000 to the Texas Military Family Foundation after the fundraising gig he staged for them. Kelly has also been in charity events and efforts to bring awareness to the fight against breast cancer. In 1996, Kelly married Andrea Kelly, his former backup dancer and mother of his three children. In 1997, he built a house in Olympia Fields and moved in. Andrea filed a restraining order against Kelly in September 2005 after a physical altercation ultimately filing for divorce in 2006. In January 2009, it was reported that Kelly's divorce was finalized. R. Kelly's career has had its share of controversies over the years. He was arrested and charged with allegedly having sex with an underage girl. He was eventually acquitted of all 14 charges. Case. When you beat something, you, you beat it. You were acquitted. We can't double jeopardy me like that. You can't. Mm -hmm. It's not fair. It's mm -hmm. not fair to nobody. When you beat your case, you beat your case. Robert Sylvester Kelly was born in Chicago, lying in hospital in the Hyde Park neighborhood on January 8, 1967. His mother, Joanne Kelly, was a professional singer who raised her children in the Baptist church, where she sang lead in the choir. The identity of his father, who has always been absent in Kelly's life, is not publicly known. Kelly began singing in the church choir at the age of eight. He dropped out of high school to perform as a subway musician. He earned his big break when he won a $100,000 prize on the television talent show, Big Break. Kelly signed with Jive Records in 1991 and released the album Born Into the 90s with his group Public Announcement in 1993. R. Kelly gained national recognition in 1989 when he participated on the talent TV show, Big Break, hosted by Natalie Cole, where he performed All My Love, which would become a demo for She's Got That Vibe. Kelly went on to win the $100,000 grand prize. Kelly's debut album, Born Into the 90s, was released in early 1992. Kelly's first solo album, 12 Play, was released on November 9, 1993, and yielded the singer's first number one hit, Bump and Grind, which spent a record-breaking 12 weeks at number one on the Billboard Hot R&B Singles chart. In 1995, Kelly garnered his first Grammy nominations, two for writing, producing, and composing Michael Jackson's last number one hit, You Are Not Alone. Kelly's success continued with the November 14, 1995 release of R. Kelly, his eponymous second studio album. On November 26, 1996, Kelly released I Believe I Can Fly, an inspirational song originally released on the soundtrack for the film Space Jam. I Believe I Can Fly reached number two on the Billboard Hot 100 and number one on the UK charts for three weeks and won three Grammy Awards in 1998. 
1998, Kelly wrote and produced the debut album of another protege, Sparkle, which was released under his Rockland label and distributed through Interscope. In 2000, Sparkle went platinum due in part to the success of the first single, Be Careful, a duet with R. Kelly. In 2001, Kelly won the Outstanding Achievement Award at the Music of Black Origin, or MOBO Awards, and Billboard Magazine ranked TP2.com number 94 on the magazine's top 200 albums of the decade. The World's Greatest from the Ali soundtrack was a hit, and Kelly performed at the closing ceremony of the 2002 Winter Olympics. Kelly's other single from Double Up, titled Rise Up, was a tribute to the victims of the Virginia Tech shooting. The song was officially released as a digital download on May 15, 2007. Proceeds were donated to the Hokie Spirit Memorial Fund, a fund that helped family members of the victims of the shootings. In 2008, Billboard reported that Kelly had plans to release his newest album titled 12 Play, fourth quarter in the summer of that year, but the album was postponed. Billboard also named Kelly among its most successful artists ever for its 50th anniversary list. In the spring, the first promotional single, Hair Braider, peaked at number 56 on Billboard's R&B chart. On July 28, the entire album leaked online. Kelly performed for the first time in Africa, headlining the Arise African Fashion Awards in Johannesburg, South Africa on June 20, 2009. Kelly performed in Cape Town before heading to Nigeria as part of the annual This Day Music and Fashion Festival in July. Kelly also performed in Kampala, Uganda in January 2010. He was scheduled to perform in London as part of his first international tour in eight years, but he did not make his London concert. Kelly performed at the 2010 FIFA World Cup opening ceremony on June 11, 2010. In November 2010, Kelly collaborated with several African musicians performing a supergroup known as 1-8. During 2013, R. Kelly continued his The Single Ladies Tour. He also performed at a variety of music festivals across North America, including Bonnaroo, Pitchfork, and Macy's Music Festival. R. Kelly was also featured on the soundtrack album of the film The Best Man Holiday with his song Christmas I'll Be Steppin'. His most recent albums, Black Panties and The Buffet, were released in 2013 and 2015, respectively. I'm crazy passing what I've been through. Oh, right now I just think I need to be a monster and hold girls against their will, chain them up in my basement. At his peak, Kelly's net worth was easily in the tens of millions, perhaps as high as 100 million. In April 2020, Kelly revealed to a judge in making a case for being released from prison that he owes nearly $1.9 million to the IRS alone. Over the years, Kelly has reportedly paid tens of millions of dollars to allegedly settle dozens of lawsuits made by women who claimed they were abused by the singer. R. Kelly's net worth is $2 million. R. Kelly owns no property to his name. In 2013, he lost his Chicago home to foreclosure after he hadn't paid the mortgage since 2010. In 2018, he was evicted from two Atlanta-area homes after failing to pay more than $30,000 in back rent and fees. At one point in recent years, he was living in a rented townhouse in Chicago's Trump Tower. These are the cars that were once owned by R. Kelly. Maybach 62S, Zaragi Sylvester, Mercedes E-Class, CL500 Mercedes.